outside of the K-Wings locker room, joined here by head coach Nick Bootland after a tough 4-3 loss to the Chicago Express. And coach, you guys were up 3-0 heading into that first intermission, and then going into the final period, the third period, you guys were tied up 3-3. What do you think the big difference was between the first and the second period for you guys? Well, I mean, first off, it's not acceptable. I mean, we have to put our foot down, and we got to find a way to, to keep these leads and maintain these leads that we go out and get. I mean, we did a lot of things right in that first period to get that lead. We were paying a price as a hockey team and making good decisions. Um, you know, we lose to Joe Tolls in the first uh, in the first period. They're about halfway through, and um, you know, we're down to 5D. But we just got to be smarter when that happens. You know, we can't we can't take chances against a team like that. They they have some guys who can put the puck in the net, and they're not going to go away. I mean, everybody in our division right now is playing for spots, and they're playing more desperate than we are. Now that game was a pretty physical game, somewhat chippy, getting in there until later periods. What do you tell your guys there on the bench? To, how, do, how do they play that game and approach it? successfully with that type of physical play? Well, I think the big thing for us is we're going to try and be five guys tough, you know. Um, it's funny when you play a team like that and, you know, Harry Young's in the lineup, they're a little bit quieter and, you know, Harry gets called up and, um, you know, they come out with a chip on their shoulder and they're going to play like that. Those teams, Chicago's teams are always going to be like that. Martinson teams are always going to be like that and play with an edge. You know, we just have to move the puck around it and keep our feet moving and take advantage of our power play chances. And we did that on the power play, but we didn't do a good job on the penalty killing again. Now, mentioned earlier, Joe Tolles went down with an injury today. You guys already lost Joe Charlevoix to the AHL and Harry Young earlier that week. How is it to play a game like that when you guys are short on defensemen and then one of them goes down there? In the well, I mean, obviously that's tough. You know, uh, Eric Kettles does a fantastic job on the back end, and he steps in, and it's seamless for us. You know, there's no excuse. They were down to 5D halfway through the game with Motherwell leaving as well, and, and we were playing with five um, D men that we're confident with and we're confident in their ability. So, um, you know, we're not, we're not going to use that as an excuse. We need to be better. Now, later in that second period, a bit of an unusual call there on Chicago. Got a penalty for unsuccessful measurement of the stick. Now, I was just wondering, have you ever prompted a penalty like that? Have you ever asked the officials to check an opposing player's stick? And if so, what causes you to do that? No, I, I've never done that. You know, um, you know, and uh, our guys are, are instructed to check their sticks and make sure that they're legal. So uh, we were pretty confident that we were getting the call right as long as uh, the referee uh, took care of business and did it the right way. And he obviously did that and realized that there was no uh, illegal stick. And, um, you know, it's a four-on-four -four situation. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks.